Folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad you're with us today. Hope everybody had a wonderful day. Uh, kind of a, a fun time to pop up, do, do our little pop-up. Oh, I'm good. Okay, I can keep talking. Okay, Garrett's giving me finger gestures here. Anyway, welcome. Glad you could be here. Uh, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. If you're first time joining us, welcome. Uh, the way this works is I'm going to do two 24-minute segments. I'm going to talk for 24 minutes. Uh, we're going to talk about fat-fighting foods. Good way to start out the new year. Uh, and then you, whatever platform you're on, type in any health questions you might have. Whatever the health question is on any topic. I may have an answer for you. If I do, I'll give you my answer. And then I'm going to do another 24-minute segment. And then I'm going to answer more questions. So whatever questions you have, you kind of direct this show. Uh, you tell me what you want me to talk about at the breaks, and I certainly will. I'm going to cover those 24 minutes myself. I'll cover your topics, too. Uh, if you're joining us this first time, a new year, I know we get a lot of new listeners all, all around the world every year. Uh, my background is I'm board certified in chiropractic. I'm board certified in orthopedics. I'm double board certified in nutrition. I have a BS in nutrition, retired dietitian, award-winning author. I've written two books. I have what is now the, one of the largest, if not the largest, health radio show in the world based in Atlanta. And we have over a million followers across all our platforms, somewhere around there um, in the social media. So this is really good information. And this is going to be fun because we're going to talk about fat-fighting foods because everybody says, what can I eat? Well, here it is. You have no excuse after today. So, all right, guys, I'm ready to go when you are. All right, Garrett's going to give me a. Good. Okay. All right. We ready to rock? All right, gentlemen. I'm going to have a big clock behind me there, so i got to look at Ready? Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am very happy that you're here. Welcome. This is a new year, new start. And everybody thinks about their health. I was talking to a friend of mine who's in the radio show Hall of Fame. I was talking to him this weekend. And he said, you know, one thing about your show, it's a specialty show because you don't have a target audience. Everyone is looking at what you, you have because it's health. So today we're going to talk about fat-fighting foods. The best foods that you can eat to fight fat because everybody wants to lose weight. Most people want to lose weight. Uh, everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody has health issues, and they always say to me, what can I eat, Dr. Joe? Now, my website, drjoe.com, I have a whole talk that I did called So What Can I Eat? This is going to be an adjunct to that. We're going to talk about the best fat-fighting foods, the foods you need to eat on a regular basis to just make this your diet. Be part of your diet, could be all of your diet, all of your diet better. So there is no single magic food. A lot of you send me questions through my website and say, Dr. Joe, what can I do to cure my tinnitus? What can I do to cure my back pain? What can I? Well, there is no one magic bullet for anything, but I can teach you things that you can do to move in the right direction. You have to have a variety of foods because you have to have a variety of nutrients. Uh, there is no magic food either. I mean, the best food I've ever come up with that inco incorporates almost everything you need is Dr. Joe's uh, Essential Source. It's a supplement. And it has over 72 ingredients, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, complete multivitamin, dried fruits and vegetables, um, priority blends. So it really is uh, what I consider the, the, the finest food, if you have to, in the world, my opinion. And it's on our website, drjoe.com. But you can't live on this alone. People say, well, Dr. Joe, can I just take Dr. Dr. Joe's essential source three times a week, three times a day? The answer is no. You're going to get too many vitamins and minerals, and you're going to need calories. You're going to need fiber. You're going to need other things as well. So this today is going to answer those questions. So let's jump right in. I'm going to give you foods that are plant-based, that are good for you. And they have a lot of potential benefits uh, for not only losing weight, but for health. And I have to say, and some of you might get mad at me when I say this, is you can't be healthy at any weight. You can't be healthy if you're overweight. If you're overweight, something's wrong. Is it your diet? Is it your hormones? Something's not right. We're designed to be at a certain weight to function at optimum levels. Now, that's not body shaming, but we're talking about health here. And so just be careful if you're saying, well, I'm overweight and I'm healthy, I'm going to, I'm going to politely and respectfully disagree with you. All right, a couple of things I want you to start adding to your diet. Quinoa, Q-U-I-N-O-A. I remember talking about this years ago when I first got in practice, when I first got on the radio. And it, it wasn't really cool back then. And now it's very, very popular. It's everywhere. In fact, I was in this little tiny mountain town in North Carolina, like an hour away from it, just about anything. And the restaurant had quinoa in it, which was kind of cool. It's high in protein, it's high in fiber, and it helps you feel full. Because one of the things I find, like if I eat Chinese food, let's say with a lot of rice, I'm hungry right away. Two things happen with that. 
Number one, uh, I don't eat meat, so it's a lot of fiber. But the rice is essentially sugar, and sugar breaks down very quickly. And the other thing we add to oftentimes a lot of foods, it used to be just Chinese food, now it's a lot of foods, is monosodium glutamate. And monosodium glutamate is a flavor enhancer. It stimulates the, the, te- the taste buds in your tongue called umami taste buds. And so you get excited, and the food tastes good. However, it's an, it excites your brain. It's an excitotoxin to the brain, and it can cause the brain to get real excited, and then the body wants more food because the brain's getting excited. So just be careful with that. But quinoa is great. It's a great substitute for rice. You can mix it in soups. You can make salads out of it. Uh, it's so versatile. And you put sauces on it, you know, you put gravies on it if you want to. And it really makes you feel full as opposed to rice. Now, it doesn't taste quite like rice, uh, but it has a very nice flavor to it. And it's very good. And you cook it basically the same way you cook rice. You know, I, one cup of quinoa, two cups of water. You can boil it up, put it in a rice steamer, and you can leave it in your refrigerator for a day or two also. One of the problems with rice is that rice, once it's cooked, grows mold very quickly. Peanuts and rice are very moldy foods. That's why I don't recommend peanuts. And rice, if you don't eat it fresh, uh, it gets moldy. Now, I have told you in the past, if you put rice in the refrigerator, it becomes a resistant starch. And you absorb about 40% less carbohydrates if you cook it, cool it, and eat it the next day. Same thing with potatoes or any starch. That's an upside of rice. The downside is that it does have, um, it runs a risk of growing mold on it. Uh, and also some rice has arsenic in it as well, just naturally occurring. It absorbs it from the soil. So quinoa really is a good substitute uh, if you're looking for that grainy feel that's going to be more filling, uh, better for you, higher protein, less carbohydrates. So I want you to start incorporating quinoa into your diet now. And again, quinoa salads are great too. Uh, Chia seeds, they're rich in omega-3 fatty acids, they're high in fiber. And what happens is when you eat chia seeds, they actually expand in your stomach. They swell up. So if you ever took chia seeds and just put it in some water, and left it on the counter for a while, it's going to start to swell up. Uh, drink a lot, a lot of water with them. Because if you don't drink water when you're doing chia seeds, uh, they're going to swell up in your colon, and they don't get pushed through, and that can actually cause constipation. The best way to incorporate chia seeds into your diet, again, high in fiber, uh, high in pr- protein, high in omega-3 fatty acids, is grind them up right before you eat them. Because when you grind them up, you release all the nutrients, and then you got to eat them right away. If you grind it up and leave it sitting on the counter or in the refrigerator, uh, it starts to oxidize. The fats break down and oxidize. So you can add chia seeds to soups. You can add them to oatmeal. I'm going to cover oatmeal in just a second. The type of oatmeal is only one type that I recommend. And uh, when you start adding chia seeds, you can even add it with Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. I do that sometimes. I, I kind of shake it up with my super greens and essential source. But uh, if you don't know what they are, they're two supplements. They taste great. They're two powders. It's the minimum nutrients you need every day. I can't imagine anyone not taking super greens and essential source every day. When you take it, your life, all, I can almost promise you, will change. Never guarantee anything in healthcare, but it's amazing. You feel so much better. You have the energy. Your body is deprived of nutrients, uh, most of us. And most diseases are related to deficiencies. We don't have enough omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C, vitamin E, B-complex, B12. Um, So we want to get the body those nutrients that it can. And super greens is an essential source. Really, I find it's the magic that really fills in that gap. So if you do that and take a teaspoon or two of chia seeds, grind them up, and add it to the super greens is an essential source, whoo-hoo, you got an amazing breakfast. Makes you feel full. Uh, gives you the nutrients that you need, really start your day out great. I haven't had a cup of coffee since I was 16 maybe, and I'm pretty old now, um, because I don't need it. I get so much energy just from getting the nutrients and the water in my body that I don't need coffee. So, And if you do drink coffee, make sure it's organic. All right, we're talking today about fat-fighting foods. People say, I don't know what to eat. How am I going to lose weight? Lentils, high in protein and fiber. They stabilize blood sugar. Uh, they should be a staple in your diet. Use them in soup, salads. Uh, you can season them. And the first book I wrote called Eating Right for the Health of It, uh, one of my most popular recipes is called Italian lentils. So ridiculously easy to make. Lentils, so you can use canned tomatoes, organic canned tomatoes if you want to, or fresh tomatoes, uh, some Italian seasoning, uh, a little garlic, and they're spectacular. I brought them to parties. People say, oh my gosh, this is so good. What is it? It's lentils and seasoning is all it is. Uh, But lentil soup is really good, really good for you, really inexpensive, so ridiculously easy to make. If you have a crock pot or uh, one of those uh, pressure cookers, um, 
pot, what is it called? Pot, I can't think of the name of it. Um, I use it uh, all the time. Pot, you know, throw some lentils, some water, celery, carrots, and onions, a little vegetable broth. Uh, turn it on, and in an hour, I have lentil soup. And it's done. So lentil soup is amazing. Now, one of the problems with lentils is you might get a little gassy from it. That'll change as time goes on. You'll start to develop new enzymes in your colon to help break down these foods. But a simple thing you can do, well, two simple things you can do. Number one, take Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes whenever you eat a cooked food. I do that. Cooked foods need enzymes to digest. And as you get older, you don't produce as many enzymes as you used to. So now we can take it as a supplement, solve that problem. And it also helps reduce inflammation. It can slow down the aging process because we need enzymes to stay young. Um, but or you, or, and or, I do actually both, you add about a teaspoon or up to a tablespoon if you want to, raw organic apple cider vinegar. And the vinegar helps stimulate your digestive enzymes, which breaks down the, the, the nutrients in your body. So uh, lentils really should be part of your diet. Now, one of my favorite foods to fight fat and make you feel full is avocados. In fact, I had an avocado this morning. Avocados contain what's called monounsaturated fats that can help control appetite when I eat an avocado, I can easily go four or five hours sometimes without having any hunger pangs, without have, I still have energy, I feel full. Um, if you eat too many avocados, it can cause you to gain weight because avocados are high in calories. But when you start incorporating avocados into your life, let me tell you, the world changes. Now, you can do a lot of things with avocados. You can make guacamole. Um, you can uh, put it on a sandwich. Uh, what I do is I just put a little uh, air, uh, Celtic sea salt on it scoop it out of the, cut it in half, scoop it out and eat it right out of the shell. I remember I didn't know what avocados were when I first came to Georgia uh, because I grew up in an Italian family, a very poor Italian family. And my friend Frank, I remember, would have an avocado and I had no idea what it was. It was this weird round thing. And he let me try it and I said, wow, this is really good. Now we didn't have Mexican food when I was young, we were Italian. And the old Italians, they didn't eat anything but Italian food really. Um, and so I got hooked on avocados. And they're amazing. Now, how do you know when they're ripe? Take the avocado and just push on it. It should feel like the tip of your nose. It should just give a little bit. If it gives a little bit, it's perfect. If it gets too mushy, it can be bad too. Uh, but yeah, just tip of your nose is great. And once they get ripe, if you put it in the refrigerator, it really slows down that ripening process. But boy, you start adding av an avocado for breakfast, it's a fruit technically, uh, amazing things happen how much more energy you have, how much fuller you feel, and you eat so much less food. Because a lot of the things that make us feel full are fat. Fat is very filling to the body. It satiates the part of the brain called the nucleus accumbens, and it makes you feel happy. Um, but there's good fat and there's bad fat. And I did a show a while ago. It was probably one of the most profound shows I ever did on the dangers of omega-6 fatty acids, vegetable oils, seed oils. That would be uh, you know corn, cottonseed, canola oils, uh, soybean oils, I really want you to stay away from the liquid oils. If you go to a grocery store and it's clear, it's a clear oil and it's in a clear jar, don't use it. Good oils, like an organic uh, olive oil, should be in a dark jar. Why? Because sunlight or even light can oxidize it. If you start to see any oil that's in a clear plastic jar, or even clear glass jar, I wouldn't use it. That's another rule on oils. And use as few oils as possible. The best oils to use are coconut oil for cooking, extra virgin organic, olive oil, um, for maybe sauteing at low temperature uh, and salads, and then um, avocado oil, all organic, please. So what we're talking about today are fats that foods that fight fat. And again, if you have a lentil and an avocado, you're not going to be able to move. You're going to be so full. I had Ethiopian food yesterday, absolutely one of my favorite foods in the world. And it's lentils and it's split peas and it's beans and it's a lot of vegetables. I just get the big veggie plate. In fact, three of us share two veggie plates and uh, we couldn't finish. There was so much food. And uh, with Ethiopian food, they have something called injera, which is it's kind of like a pancake. And it's what you, uh, you tear off a piece of the pancake, if you will, and you pick up the food with your hands and eat it. There's no utensils. And I'll give you utensils if you want it. But the injera can be made with just teff, or it can be made with teff and wheat. So if you go to an Ethiopian restaurant, ask them for the injera that doesn't have wheat. Most of them carry that. And then you're getting a high protein, kind of like quinoa. Teff is kind of like quinoa. It's a seed, and it's really good for you. So these are just some more tips, and it's so inexpensive. Uh, the three of us with an extremely large tip uh, was $11 a person. 
and we were stuffed to the gills, and that's with tip and tax and everything, and we were very, very generous on the tip. So, yeah, it's inexpensive. It tastes great, and if you go to one Ethiopian restaurant you don't like it, try a different one. You know, people say, well, I went to, I don't know, I, well, chiropractic, of course. I got adjusted once. It didn't fix my sciatica. Well, you can't fix things in one visit ever. I mean, sometimes it happens, but very rarely. And I'll tell people, I said, you ever go out on a date? You didn't like the person you, and you kept dating, right? You had bad meal and you kept eating? Just because you had a bad experience with something that generally is good for you doesn't mean you have to give up on it. And so most Ethiopia, I've never been to a bad Ethiopian restaurant, to be honest with you. So, uh, But again, very, very full and felt great and satisfied. It is all cooked. So what did I do? I took Dr. Joe's digestive enzyme afterwards. Problem solved. So we're talking today about fat-fighting foods, and all the foods we're talking about today are actually good for you. It's not just fat-fighting. It's actually healthy for you. So if your goal is to get healthy, which I hope it is, if your goal is to get healthy, there's three things I want you to consider having as part of your health protocol this year. Number one, a normally functioning nervous system. The nervous system controls everything. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, muscle weakness, sciatica, these are signs, these are warning signs telling you something's wrong with the nervous system. Most likely, it's a pinched nerve. Chiropractic care is the most effective, least expensive treatment for pinched nerves, by far. So if you have pain, come see us. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We would love to be your doctors. Imagine getting your nervous system tuned up. You tune up your car. You turn up your air conditioner, very few people ever think about tuning up their nervous system. And if there's pain, that's like the car making noise. There's something wrong. So go to my website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. Book an appointment to come see us. Stop suffering needlessly. We look at the nervous system, digestive system, and your diet. So on your first visit, you'll get an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment. On your follow-up visit, you'll go over the x-rays with us and get a complete nutrition evaluation. I don't know anyone who's doing all that anywhere. If you came to us off the street, the price would be $940 for that. Because you're one of my listeners, we've dropped that to $299. That's ridiculous. Exam, x-rays, consultation, adjustment, going over the x-rays, and nutrition evaluation. Can't get that really at any price anywhere. And if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com. Please do it soon. Because understand, we fill up very quickly with new patients. You can imagine we would. And we want to make sure we get the time that you need at the office that you need, with the doctor that you need. So drjoe.com, uh, do that right now. We accept, all, we accept everybody with all insurances. It depends what your insurance covers. So we have to check your policy. So when you send me messages and say, do you take Blue Cross Blue Shield? Do you take Aetna? Yes, we do, but it depends on your policy. So drjoe.com, you can call my office if you have questions about it. It's on the website, and we'll get you in as soon as possible. If you're ever in a car accident, and a lot of people are, If the car is damaged, you're damaged. I've never seen it any other way. And I've treated thousands and thousands and thousands of car accidents. So drjoe.com, come see us right away. You will get calls as soon as you're in an accident from scammers. Promise you. Uh, Hey, go see this doctor. Go see this lawyer. Your insurance company told me to call you. It's all lies. It's all scams. It's really sad. I was talking to my office manager the other day, and it's like, who do you trust anymore? I feel I'm really worried. So, yeah, if, you have, if you're in an accident, drjoe.com, and uh, we can either help you find a doctor you need. We'd love to be your doctors. We can help you find lawyers. We can do everything we, that we know after doing this for almost 40 years, what works and what doesn't. Most of it's a scam, to be honest with you. So, drjoe.com. All right, so talking today about foods that fill you up. I told you I was going to talk about oats. High in soluble fiber, oats can help regulate blood sugar. They make you feel full. I suggest steel-cut organic oats only. The reason is we use a lot of weed killer on our oats. So if it's not organic, I would not eat it. It's a, a weed killer called glyphosate and other chemicals. So steel cut is better too because the fiber is more intact. Rolled oats are steel cut oats that are cooked and then steamed and rolled out. That's what rolled oats are. And so you're breaking down some of the fiber. And then instant oats are re- really not good for you at all because the fiber is so broken down, it passes right through you. So you lose a lot of the benefits. And a lot of times the, uh, the uh, instant oats are loaded with sugar and chemicals and additives and artificial flavors. So steel-cut organic oats. It takes a little bit longer to cook them. A few minutes is all it is. But once you eat steel-cut organic oats, they're so much more filling. They, they're so much more substantial. Uh, you're going to be amazed 
how much better you feel. And again, we're talking today about fat-fighting foods because people say, well, Dr. Joe, what do I eat to lose weight? I'm giving it to you. Now, if you follow us on social media, at Dr. Joe Esposito, we post tips every single day. And in fact, this week and next week, I'm going to be posting all these tips as one-minute posts. We've got a lot more than I'm even going to cover today. So that's going to be this topic this week. Every week it changes. So please follow us, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, at Dr. Joe Esposito. You're going to get health tips every day for free. Now, if you don't like it, unfollow me. Very simple. If you really want to become part of the inner circle and really want to get serious about wellness, go to my website, drjoe.com, and sign up for our newsletter. It's right there on the front of, of the homepage. And when we send out the newsletter, we send out things like this. We send out discounts on supplements. We send out specials that we're running. Sometimes I have special lectures just for my newsletter family, special pop-up Q&As. So it's a lot of, and again, you don't like it, unsubscribe. It's very simple. We're not going to push you on anything. I'm not going to sell your name to anybody. So drjoe.com is the website. Great source of information. We have over 4,000 hours of information on the website, drjoe.com. So you can't go wrong. Use the search bar. Search what you're looking for. And if you want to make an appointment, which really is the best thing you can do, do it right through the website. All the supplements we talk about, Super Green, Essential Source, Digestive Enzymes, Nitric Oxide, Increases Circulation. It's great. Uh, this year, we have a new supplement coming out. It's going to be an energy supplement. It's ginseng and nitric oxide, and I've created it, and I've tested it, and it works amazingly well. So that's coming out real soon, too. So drjoe.com, I want, that's where I want you to hang out. Uh, if you're a veteran, if the VA refers you to our office, they pay for it. So if go to your doctors or whoever's treating you at the VA and say, I want to get referred to Dr. Joe, many times they will. Um, we, they usually refer for pain patients. So you got, you know, if you're in pain, say, listen, I, I'm not getting the results I need here at the VA, or I can't wait to go see a specialist. Please send me to Dr. Joe. We'll get you in that week, drjoe.com. All right, other foods, fat-fighting foods, beans, black beans, red beans, kidney beans, high in protein, high in fiber, make you feel full. Again, add a teaspoon of organic apple cider vinegar to help digest them better. And when you do eat beans, take Dr. Joe's digestive enzyme with it. If it's a big meal, like yesterday I had a, a big Ethiopian meal, I had two digestive enzymes. If it's just a regular meal, I'll take one. But beans are great. You can add the apple cider vinegar to it as well to help break down the gas, but beans are very filling. Now, if you go to a Mexican restaurant and you order refried beans, always ask if they add lard. Years ago, lard was very popular in Mexican restaurants. Um, it's kind of fallen out of favor, but every now and then I'll find one. If the refried beans have lard in it, you can just get the black beans. They're usually okay. But always ask. Never hurts to ask. So if you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking today about fat-fighting foods, the best foods we can eat to help lose weight. Sweet potatoes, packed with fiber, complex carbohydrates, great source of energy. Just don't smother in butter and oil and, and sugar. Um, just do the sweet potato plain. Now, if you bake the sweet potato or boil it, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then eat it the next day, you've created something called a resistant starch. And resistant starches, you absorb about 40% less carbohydrates than if you ate it freshly made. Um, and those, those carbohydrates that aren't being absorbed become prebiotics. They feed the good bacteria in your colon. So, yeah, sweet potatoes are awesome. Now, sweet potatoes technically are not potatoes, and they're really not close to the potatoes. They just kind of look like them, and that's why we call them sweet potatoes. So just uh, get the sweet potatoes. Get organic. Anything that grows underground, I strongly recommend organic. Uh, onions, potatoes, carrots, uh, garlic. I recommend organic because if it's underground, the soil can be saturated with toxic chemicals, waste products, uh, weed killers. And if you put it, uh, if you get the organic ones, you don't have to worry about that. It's really simple. And the price is ridiculously minimal. Uh, I, I bought some organic onions the other day. I think it was 10 cents more for the organic per pound. So don't, the, the, the days of organic being so expensive really are kind of going to the wayside, which is great. Uh, because more and more people are buying organic because more and more people are concerned about the pesticides and the chemicals and the glyphosate and the hormones and the steroids that might be involved with certain types of foods, especially meats and dairy products. So, yeah, organics become really popular to the point where now it's just standard. Even when I travel around the country in these little tiny towns, they, the grocery stores carry organic stuff. So I'm kind of happy that I was part of that movement way back when uh, to get people to realize that organic is the way to go. Uh, broccoli, low in calories, loaded with fiber. Nutrient dense contains something called diendol methane. Diendol methane can help boost your testosterone levels and help balance out other hormones. In fact, it's in our hormone called Dr. Joe's Men's and Women's Hormone Support. 
uh, which, by the way, the Women's Hormone Support is on sale right now on the website. And so is Dr. Joe's Super Greens uh, with hemp, the half price. So, folks, i got to go to a break. If you have any health questions, send them to me through my website, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com. Happy to answer your questions for you. If you want to make an appointment, which is really the ultimate, either virtually or in person, drjoe.com. Let's get that set up right away. Let's start out your life, through your year, uh, getting healthy and staying healthy. I can't imagine a better investment. I've had too many friends of mine die, and a lot of times I know the reason. It's because they didn't take care of themselves. If you're a vet- veteran, have the VA send you to us. Uh, if you're a podcast fr- fan, go to whatever podcast service you like and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. We post two podcasts a week. And again, folks, drjoe.com is your source of information and also your questions answered if you'd like for me to do that. Folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. We'll be right back. What you got? I got a ton. My goodness, for a pop-up lecture, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, what do you got? Um, Let's see here. Starting out, um, why just a quick preface uh, or a quick kind of redo of – why is oatmeal considered bad? Uh, a lot of weed killer on it. Um, and also if it's uh, rolled oats or instant oats, the fiber is broken down. So steel cut is going to be your best. Is some of that just due to how commercial it's become? Yeah, of course. So- it's cheaper to grow it with weed killers and things like that. So that's why we grow it there. And one of the reasons they do it is um, it's glyphosate. They kill the plant and then uh, it's easier to harvest. So that's the only reason I even do it. It's just a dead plant is easier to harvest. So, But that's why I do organic. You don't have to worry about it. I just figured looking at something like quinoa, you don't really have that issue. Right. Even really if you're not buying organic. I mean, I rarely ever see the non-organic quinoa. Yeah. Um, but even if you're not buying organic, it's never really been a. It's not a big issue, yeah. yeah. And as time goes on, it may become an issue. Yeah, that's because, that's yeah. what I'm asking. More if quinoa growing. gets really popular uh-huh. and they start commercializing the heck out of it, yeah. we'll probably have the same issue we'll have the same issues yeah so yeah, um, it's cool. now um this uh this person's got diverticulitis and consistent constipation okay all right so one thing about the colon which is kind of cool is the colon regenerates new cells every three to five days so most colon problems are pretty easy to work with once you stop irritating it so with diverticulitis it's a the little pouching in the colon and, and it can become inflammatory and certainly painful so go to my website, drjoe.com, and type the word digestion in the search bar. Uh, what you want to do is eat more foods like avocados, certainly super greens an essential source. I mean, because it's very, it's very low in fiber, but it's a super high concentration of nutrients. So anyone with digestive issues, well, anyone should be taking it, but anyone with digestive issues, this is going to be your godsend. Um, super greens an essential source to give the body the nutrients that it needs. Chiropractic care. Every case I've ever seen of diverticulitis and constipation the stomach is pushed up into the diaphragm. And so the whole colon is spasmed. So what we have to do is massage or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. And in most cases, it's a miracle. And open up the nerve supply to the colon as well. So listen to the lecture we did on digestion. Super greens an essential source. Digestive enzymes as well every time you eat a cooked meal. And then come see us. That's really going to be the key because a lot of digestion and uh, problems are physical, not chemical. And we're very, very oftentimes become your, your new best friend by fixing that. So. What else? Hi, Dr. Joe. Glad you're covering oatmeal. Hear many conflicting reports, uh, but I've also heard that sauerkraut removes arterial plaque. It doesn't remove it. It helps the body because of the probiotics and the dianol methane helps build testosterone. Um, so there's a lot in fiber. There's a lot of reasons why, but no, eating sauerkraut is not going to clean out your colon all by itself. Sorry to break the news to you. Sauerkraut has uh, DIM? Dianol methane, yeah. Cabbage. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cabbage, any type of sul- uh, 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 sulfur-containing foods, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, they have methane. Yeah. Enough to matter? Enough to matter, yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, also with the intestinal one, we have a, a product called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Formula. You want to get that one as well because that's going to help the bowels move. The only supplement I've ever made that I don't want you to take forever because I want to fix the, the, the constipation so you don't need the intestinal formula. But in the meantime, yeah, get the Dr. Joe's Intestinal Formula too. All right, what else? Well, Jay just started taking, uh, or Jay has been taking blood pressure meds, mm-hmm. but just got Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. Question is, how many should he take a day, and how long before he notices a difference in blood pressure? Okay, I take nitric oxide every day, and I have normal blood pressure. 
Uh, it depends how big you are. I'm about 180, 190 pounds, so I take four a day. So what I want you to do, Jay, is this. Start with one today. See how you feel. Take two the next day, three the next day, four the next day. Uh, I don't recommend it for people with low blood pressure, but normal and high blood pressure, this should be a standard that everybody should take. Um, it's uh, citrulline, which converts into nitric citrine converts to arginine, converts into nitric oxide, opens up your blood vessels. So it's going to increase circulation to your brain, your sex organs. Uh, when we have men come to us with ED, we have a whole ED protocol we do. We use acoustic wave therapy, home therapies, nitric oxide, cold laser, chiropractic to open up the nerve supply to the sex organs. And in most cases, amazing results. And this is part of that because it opens up the blood supply. So I would say uh, one, two, three, and four, see how you feel. Almost everybody does great with four, but I just want to go slow with you. And then go to my website, drjoe.com, and type in blood pressure and listen to the lecture we did on blood pressure for more things. It could be a digestive problem. The digestive system could be irritating the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve could cause the heart to beat faster. So you got to kind of go down a rabbit hole with blood pressure, but it's very rare we haven't gotten good results with blood pressure patients. So if you come see us, we can check all that. In fact, my mother-in-law some, I think four years ago, I still, I, I got her, we'd gotten her some nitric oxide. She'd been on blood pressure meds for about two years at that point, And I hadn't, I completely forgotten about it. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, but talking over the holidays, uh, she's been off her blood pressure meds for almost a year now. That's a good deal, huh? Yeah. This is cheaper than a blood pressure meds <laughs> and no side effects. Gee, let me think. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when you came to me about that with her and how cool that was. Yeah, good. I'm glad that worked. What else? Um, glad you told me this about sweet potatoes. Just bought a bag on sale. Excellent. Um, and here, if you're fixing a bowl of some sort, what is the healthiest choice? Rice, pasta, quinoa, or couscous? Quinoa. That's an easy one. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, random question. Uh, when should my eyesight stop deteriorating? Uh, thoughts on laser eye surgery. Uh, they're in their late 20s. Late 20s. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, go to my website, drjoe.com, and type in macular degeneration. I have macular degeneration. I was told, oh, gosh, maybe 10 years now, um, that I was going to go blind. By now, I should be blind. And there's nothing that can be done about it. Uh, there's no surgery that can be done. Just hopefully we can slow it down the best we can do. And that's what the doctor said and patted me on a fanny and sent me out the door, metaphorically speaking. Um, so I really got serious about it and I started taking, of course, super green, essential source, nitric oxide, B complex, um, my whole adrenal support for inflammation. And if you go to my website, Garrett, my producer there was kind enough to take pictures of my eyes that I had from my eye doctor over the years. And you can see my macular degeneration getting better and better and better. Now I can't promise you that I'm going to fix your eyesight. I can never promise anything, but uh, follow that protocol that I talk about in that article. And also you want to give up the foods that cause inflammation. That would be alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. And some people argue with me when I say that. And I say, what's more important, your sex function, your eyesight, uh, your brain function, or a steak? Whatever's more important, that's the direction I want you to go in because it's your choice. We're a free country. You can decide whatever you want. Um, I don't mean to be cynical when I say that, but I think it's insane when people say, well, I really like beer. I like my eyesight. I like romance. I like sleeping at night. I like being able to have my brain function. I like looking 15 years younger than I am. So to me, that's important. But if it's more stakes more important to you, that's okay too. Uh, but follow that protocol, and you might want to come see us because pinched nerves in the neck can affect the back part of the brain, which is where vision is, is actually perceived, the back part of the brain. Uh, the occipital lobe, and then also you want to get good circulation. So if you come see us, we can do a protocol for you as well. What else? A uh, few more. What are your thoughts on a on caloric deficit for weight loss? Well, caloric deficit is weight loss uh, by definition. You have to you know burn more calories than you're putting in, um, and it depends the type of calories too. It's not just that. Um, so. If you want to lose weight, go to our website and type in weight loss. We did a real good show on that. We talked about how to do it. And then if you get serious, we have a 21-day jumpstart protocol that you can do. Just type 21-day in the search bar. And uh, that's the program I put everybody in who wants to lose weight. Do this for 21 days. Let's reset your brain. Let's reset your colon. Let's get, let's get that weight loss jump started uh, and break those cravings. Then we talk about seven deadly sins in nutrition and so what can you eat. But that's a very simple, easy process that I've never seen not work if you do it. That's the key. Yeah, but caloric deficit, yeah, you can cut out calories to a point, but make sure you're eating high-quality foods. 
So I understand this concept of slowing down the aging process, but you also have to have nutrients too. So. What else? Just one more. Uh, what about stevia, including liquid stevia? It's okay. Do organic if you can because they use maltodextrin, and maltodextrin it can come from genetically modified corn. So organic stevia, I'm perfectly fine with. Lohan is okay. Xylitol is okay. I'm good with all of them. Ah, okay, one more. Um, off the wall question. Uh, this will be a fun answer. Tinnitus. I know there is no <laughs> cure, but what do you suggest? I don't know what it is with tinnitus lately, I'll be honest with you, because we used to get one or two questions a month on tinnitus. I'm getting three and four a day on the website. So something is weird in the world, and I've, I've always wondered what's weird in the world. Tinnitus could be a vitamin D deficiency. So if you're not taking five drops of Dr. Joe's vitamin D every single day, everyone should for immune system, for brain function, tinnitus. Uh, it's the cheapest insurance policy you'll ever buy. So vitamin D for many reasons. Could be B12 deficiency. There's two types of B12 in a supplement form, cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin. Cyanocobalamin has cyanide in it, cyanocobalamin. Methylcobalamin is the form that we need. 40% of you out there can't methylate or break down vitamin B into the methylated form to make it usable. And so either way, you can get a $600 test to determine if you have that gene that doesn't methylate properly. Or methylated B12. Uh, Dr. Joe's Essential Source has methylated B12 in it and Dr. Joe's B Complex. So I would say vitamin D, B12, Essential Source, and of course take Super Greens with it as well for many reasons, and then chiropractic care because the pinched nerves in the neck can be affecting the ears. And I've had many patients over the years after getting adjusted, the tinnitus goes away. So, and it could be due to medication. Aspirin can do it. High blood pressure, inflammation. It's a lot of different causes, but that's the things you can do right away. What else? Let's get back to the show because we got one more break coming in about 25 minutes. Yes. Yeah, so if you have more questions, type them in. All right. Ready? Hey, folks. Dr. Joe Esposito here. If you're just joining us, welcome. If you've been with us, thanks. Appreciate you hanging out here. Uh, really fun show today. We're talking about fat-fighting foods. A little alliteration there. Fat-fighting foods. What foods can I eat to help lose weight? Well, if you eat these foods and don't eat the other foods, you'll lose weight. It's pretty simple. And people say, oh, I don't know what to eat. What, am I just eat tofu every day? No, absolutely not. There's a ton of foods. In fact, I've got a list here. And if you follow us on social media, at Dr. Joe Esposito, uh, I'm going to post all of these and a lot more than I'm covering today as one-minute posts coming up this week. So all you have to do is, uh, maybe this weekend, next week, it's a lot. Um, just follow us on social media. And every day, I'll give you a new food. I'll give you three new foods, actually, uh, that you can add. And it's absolutely free. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. If you don't like me, unfollow me. We've got about a million followers across all the platforms. Obviously, we're doing something right. Uh, and then if, you, uh, if you're a podcast junkie, uh, just go to your podcast service, type in Dr. Joe for the health of it, and you can hear all the shows, these, these type shows we've done uh, as podcasts uh, going back to, I don't know, years ago. So at Dr., at Dr. Joe Esposito social media, Dr. Joe for the health of it on podcast, Dr. Joe for the health of it. All right, more foods that help you lose weight. Spinach. Low in calories, high in nutrients, helps control hunger. Uh, raw or cooked is great. If you have a tendency to create kidney stones, and some people have a genetic predisposition, uh, spinach is high in oxalates. Uh, you don't have to not eat spinach. You just have to drink a lot more water. And by the way, you should be drinking a lot more water anyway. So it solves that problem. Uh, Brussels sprouts. We talked about diendol methane earlier. Uh, diendol methane is a component of things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, the cruciferous vegetables. Um, side note, why is it called cruciferous vegetables? When the flower forms on the plant, it's in the shape of a crucifix. That's what I called cruciferous. Absolutely useless information. But Brussels sprouts, high in fiber, low in calories. They make you feel full. And the diendol methane can boost your testosterone levels, help balance out hormones. Um, again, I, I love Brussels sprouts. I'll just boil them up, and I'll just eat them as a snack. You know, like pop them in like popcorn. Um, relatively inexpensive. Uh, tastes great. Great source of fiber. Great source of sulfur. And sulfur is necessary for your joints. We build cartilage out of sulfur. And so uh, the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, the cabbages are also very good for your joints as well. So once again, you can have a whole meal of Brussels sprouts. And you can broil them. Uh, my grandmother, my German grandmother, used to boil them up, slice them in quarters, and then put a little vinegar on them. And again, vinegar helps break them down, break down, stimulate your digestive system, apple cider vinegar. And you can add some Celtic sea salt, some pepper if you want to, some garlic, which is antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal. And you could eat it cold or hot. You can broil them too if you want to. But yeah, Brussels sprouts just rock. 
Uh, kale. Uh, I'm not a fan of kale. I know that, that's blasphemy for coming from somebody who's a nutrition guy. Uh, I just don't like the way it tastes. you got to get baby kale and chop it up really small. Then I'm okay with it. But generally speaking, kale is uh, not one of my favorite foods. Now, I do like kale in soups, which is strange because it adds a nice texture to it if it's cooked a lot. So if you're making a split pea soup or lentil soup, any kind of soup, shred up some kale, throw it in there. Really great addition. And again, high in diendolmethanes uh, and sulfur. And you can make kale chips if you want to. Uh, use coconut oil if you're going to do that. Uh, what you do is you just take some kale, clean it off the stems, um, slice it, chop it up a little bit. You can add some coconut oil to it, some salt, some pepper, some garlic, and massage it. I know it says massage it. It's weird. It kind of massages the oil into the kale and then broil it. And you get kale chips, which I'm actually a big fan of. Coconut oil is the best oil to use for cooking because it has what's called a high smoke point. And so it doesn't break down when it's heated. If you do things like uh, um, uh, even olive oil at high temperatures is going to break down. Avocado oil is going to break down. Uh, so just be careful. And if you're just tuning in, I want you to avoid all vegetable oils. If you go to a grocery store and it's in a clear plastic bottle, don't eat it. That's a real simple rule. Vegetable oils would be corn oil, canola oil, cottonseed oil, sunflower, safflower oils, uh, soybean oils. These things are so bad for you on so many levels. Speeds up the aging process. It affects the brain. It, it, it's the actually number one cause of type 2 diabetes, not sugar. Sugar is number two. Uh, uh, oils. Bad oils are. They clog up the receptor sites in the cell, and so the cell can't, uh, insulin can't get into the cell and open up the cell and let sugar in. So please, 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 please avoid those vegetable oils at all costs. Um, so again, kale, it, it's great. If I, in a salad, if it cut up small, I don't mind it. But those big leaves, don't try it if you've never tried it. I hate kale. I get it. Here's the thing. People say to me, well, Dr. Joe, I tried tofu and I didn't like it. Well, then don't eat tofu. I tried kale and I didn't like it. Don't eat kale. You don't have to eat everything that's good for you. Because there's so many foods. I'm guessing, this is just off the, off the cuff guess, about 120,000 good foods for you out there. And if you want to get blown away, go into an a ethnic grocery store and walk around, and you're going to be amazed how much food there is you've never even seen before. You don't even know what it is. And you're going to be uh, kind of leech. I love lychee nuts. If you never had those, I love those. Uh, bok choy is, is something I enjoy too. Uh, and when you try these new foods, you're going to like a lot of them. You're not going to like some of them. That's okay. You don't have to like everything. You don't have to do everything. I tell people all the time, listen, this is what I do every day. It took me 40 years to get here. You can do a little bit. You can do some of it. You can do part of it. You can do one of it. I don't care what you're doing. Uh, like Olita Adams said, I think it was, gosh, I was 19, oh, no, 29 years old when a song came out. Get here if you can. And a line from the song is, I don't care how you get here. Just get here if you can. Now, it's a romantic song, but I like to think about that when it comes to health. I don't care why you cut back on your animal products, whether you care about animals, whether you want to save money, whether you want to live longer, whether you care about the environment, whether you want to be healthier. I don't care what it is. I don't care how you get here. Just get here. That's my goal. And you're going to be very happy, by the way, when you start doing these things. All right, other foods that make you feel full, fat-fighting foods, uh, bro uh, cauliflower. Low in calories, high, high in nutrients. <laughs> you can make it out of pizza crust now. But, uh, yeah, broccoli is great. Uh, cauliflower is great. I really enjoy cauliflower. Again, I'll just boil it up sometimes and just eat it with a little salt and pepper or just plain. Um, and I like – what I do is I'll put stuff in my refrigerator that is good for me. Cauliflower, broccoli, cabbages, Brussels sprouts. And I grew up really poor, extremely poor. My father was disabled, so we were really poor. And I never wasted anything. We used everything. We washed out plastic bags. Anybody old enough to remember washing out plastic bags? Um, saving those bread bags? When my mother finally uh, you know, came to the end of her life and we had to move her around, uh, going through the house, plastic bags, Cool Whip containers, because they were poor. And you didn't go out and buy Tupperware and Ziploc bags. You saved what you had. And so that was a good skill that was ingrained in me. And so if I have food in the refrigerator and it's healthy, I'm going to eat it. If I have junk food in the house, I'm going to eat it. Somebody made me the other day what's called pizzelles. They're Italian cookies. And it was gluten-free, and it was sweetened with stevia, and it was really good. And I had one or two, and I really enjoyed them. And they gave me a whole bunch to take home. I had to throw them away. I had to throw them outside. 
I got it from when I threw things I throw outside um, because if it's in the house or if it's anywhere I can get it, I might go get it. So I get what you're going through. I understand everything you're going through. I'm human just like everybody else. But to me, I always ask myself the question, is it worth it? And the answer is no, it's never worth it when it's bad. It's never worth it. So drjoe.com, if you have any health questions, you can send it to me through the website. I'm happy to answer your questions for you. Uh, all right, let's keep going along here. We got, um, we're talking about foods that help you lose weight, help, foods that fight fat. Uh, berries are great. Uh, blueberries, raspberries are packed with antioxidants. Uh, when I need something sweet, uh, berries are great. Now, I have an adopted Italian family here uh, in the Atlanta area, and they love cooking for me. And me and one other person are healthy. Everybody else eats horrible. And they always want to have dessert. What do you want for dessert? What do you want for dessert? I say berries. Berries are fine. So we've, we've negotiated down on berries now. And berries are great. A little sweet, a little fibrous, something to do at the end of the meal, to kind of throw them in your mouth and chew on them. Uh, if you can't get fresh ones, that's fine. A uh, great way to get away from the cookies and the brownies because you have something sweet at the end of the meal. And you can get organic frozen berries really cheap. Uh, I look for sales, of course. And what will happen is I'll uh, get a bag of frozen berries. And uh, the night before, I'll just take a bowl and I'll put them in a the refrigerator to frost them. And I'll have that for breakfast. And if you want to get crazy, you can add the frozen ones in with super greens and essential source because everybody should be doing super greens and essential source anyway. It's two powders, by the way, if you're just tuning in. Uh, they taste great. They're on the website, drjoe.com, in the store section of the website. And I can't imagine not having super greens and essential source every day. Uh, it's like the greatest thing in the world as far as I'm concerned. So, and I've seen countless patients over the years come to me and say, Dr. Joe, I don't know how I lived without super greens and essential source. I love when I say I know how I, I, I can't afford not to take it. And I, I remember the first time somebody said that. I said, what do you mean? They said, I feel so much better. I'm working harder. I'm making more money. My family life is better. My relationships are better. I'm sleeping better. I go to the bathroom better. I can't afford not to take it. Don't ever stop making it. So I, I've been threatened. So okay, yes, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, another thing that can help you feel full is grapefruit. It contains enzymes that can actually reduce your insulin levels and regulate blood sugar. So grapefruits are great as part of a diet plan, uh, but they can help you feel full. And they also have soluble fiber, and soluble fiber takes a little longer to digest. And so it takes a little longer. I don't like sour foods. So once again, you don't have to argue with me and say, well, no, I don't like grapefruits. So they don't eat grapefruits. Uh, so if a grapefruit is sour, I'm not a big fan of it. I like it when it's slightly sweet. Um, I like oranges, uh, tangerines. So I, I like sweet foods just like you do. Uh, apples, Fuji apples, organic. Um, and you got to remember, a lot of these apples that are out there now are hybridized, but that's okay. Doesn't mean they're genetically modified, they're hybridized. So hybridized is they'll take one type of apple and splice it with another type of apple to create this third form of apple. And there's, I don't know how many, it's 100 different types of apples. Or I, I saw it one day how many different breeds of apples there are. Uh, and a lot of it has been hybridized. Now, again, that's not so bad. It's when it's genetically modified that I have concerns. So... Uh, the reason we genetically modified food is so that we can spray weed killer on it. Now, why do I spray weed killer on food? Because it'll kill the weeds, but not kill the genetically modified soybean, corn, uh, rapini, uh, which makes uh, canola oil. And if we can spray the weed killer on it, we kill the weeds, but not the plant, and so we don't have to weed. Sounds like a good idea. It was a good idea until it wasn't. And what we're finding now, when we change the molecular structure of the genetic, genetically modified foods, the proteins in the DNA changes. And now we're starting to see some adverse effects of that. Plus, it's sprayed with weed killer, <laughs> which really is another bad thing. So uh, uh, I'm okay with that. Almonds are great too. Now, people come to me and say, Dr. Joe, I want to lose weight. Number two reason they come to me is well, about weight is I want to gain weight. So if you want to gain weight, I recommend having an avocado or two a day and then adding nuts to your diet. Almonds, walnuts, pecans, pistachios. Don't eat peanuts. Peanuts have something in it called a mycotoxin, which calls it, which waste product is an aflatoxin, basically when they go to the bathroom. Um, that's weirdly put, but the aflatoxins can cause allergic reactions, swelling, um, problems. Uh, they're high in arginine. Arginine can cause herpes outbreaks if you have a herpes virus in your body. So I'm not a fan of peanuts in any way, shape, or form. Don't eat them. Don't eat them as part of your meal. Nothing. Stay away from peanuts, in my opinion. 
Uh, almonds are great. Walnuts are great. Walnuts, if I have to pick the favorite one, it's going to be walnuts and macadamia nuts. Those are the granddaddies of health, nutrition. Uh, those are great. And macadamia nuts are really expensive. So walnuts kind of become the, the winner. And eat them raw. It's fine. Now, if you're eating nuts, walnuts, almonds, whatever, and you've left them in the pantry for too long, and you eat them and they taste sour, bitter, they don't taste right, throw them away. The oils have gone rancid. And when the oils go rancid, it's very, very toxic. So toxic oils are really bad. That's why we talk about uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, fish oil, a lot of people do fish oil. Fish oil can go rancid very quickly. Uh, and rancid oils are worse than no oils at all. So anytime something feel, tastes bad, don't do it. I don't do fish oil. Uh, I do algae oil. Algae oil is the purest form of omega-3 fatty acids. And that's the one I eat every day. I take part of my supplement protocol is an omega-3 fatty acid because omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acid. That means you have to have them. You have to get them from an outside source. And so fish oil is one way to get it. It's usually many times it's rancid. Many times it's contaminated with mercury. Uh, and it's not in the form that can pass into what's called the blood-brain barrier and get into your brain. It's not in the phospholipid form. And so the phospholipid form uh, you'll get from algae oil. So you get the omega-3s. And by the way, fish don't produce omega-3 fatty acids. Fish get it from eating algae. Smaller fish, and the smaller fish eat the algae. So algae is the purest form. And I don't know why you're not taking omega-3 fatty acids every day. And again, I ask that question rhetorically because I don't know why you're not taking at least super greens and essential source every day. They're two powders. They taste great, relatively inexpensive. DrJoe.com, they're in the store section. Uh, the hemp is actually on sale right now. So it's half price. I'm trying to get this out to you guys, folks. I'm trying to get it into your bodies the best I can. And the good news is they have a pretty long shelf life. So even after the expiration date, I find they're fine to take even up to a year afterwards. So you could stock up for a year and make sure you get your uh, super greens and essential source every day. Uh, omega-3 fatty acids, I take a B-complex, make sure it's methylated B12. I take nitric oxide to increase circulation. I take men's hormone support. Uh, diendolmethane to help keep my hormone levels balanced. The women's hormone support, by the way, is on sale right now, too, half price. Men can take it, too. Just take a double dose. Um, probiotics for digestive health. There's so many things that we can do proactively to get well and stay well, and many of you are not doing it. And I don't know why. Because you see healthcare prices are through the ceiling. You look at these hospitals that are being built. These are amazingly beautiful buildings. And they charge you to park, too, which always bothers me. But amazingly beautiful buildings, top state-of-the-art health uh, facilities, and I think they're amazing. However, life expectancy is dropping. We're spending more money on health care than ever. So overall, we're doing something wrong. Because why are we spending more money and getting less results? I don't understand it. Cancer's, you know, crazy. Heart disease, crazy. So many things are self-induced. Not saying I have a cure for any disease. What I'm saying is we should take care of ourselves to better the odds of getting well and staying well and avoiding getting sick. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we'd love to set up a protocol for you. This is no promise, no guarantees. I'm not blowing smoke up your skirt saying, yes, I have a cure for a disease. What I'm saying is nobody is teaching you how to get well and stay well. I want to be that person. So who would be a good patient for us? People with neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, digestive issues, sciatic pain, headaches. Stop suffering needlessly. Chiropractic care, most effective, least expensive treatment for most back pain issues. Come see us. We will also do a nutrition evaluation with you. We'll find out what you're eating and tell you what to eat, what not to eat. It's up to you whether you do it or not. Recommend some supplements. It's up to you whether you do it or not. And then we also want to check your digestive system. Do you have gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, heartburn, acid reflux? Chances are the problem is physical, not chemical. That means the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm. The valve between your small and large intestine is stuck. The nerve supply to the colon isn't working. You're eating foods that are just tearing up your colon. You're not getting enough prebiotics and probiotics. So we want to fix it, not just treat the symptoms. Every day on my website, drjoe.com, I get health questions. Every single day, many times, 10, 15, 20. Uh, last week, we got over almost 100 in one day. And people say, what can I take to cure my blank? And I always have to say, I can't cure anything. I can't help you get well, but there is no magic pill 
that's going to cure arthritis. There is no magic pill that's going to cure brain fog or Alzheimer's. But there are protocols that you can institute. Whether you do them or not is up to you. But I can't imagine why you wouldn't. What could be worth more anything more than your health? So if you have a question, send it to me through the website, drjoe.com. Best thing to do is make an appointment to come see us because I can't – you send me one question on one line. I can't give you a whole breakdown. So make an appointment to come see us in Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We want to be your doctors. So drjoe.com, uh, we can get you an appointment this week, and let's get to the cause of your health care problems and not just treat the symptoms. I love it because we have a lot of doctors and uh, students that, that want to intern with me, and I accept very, very few, and a few I do take. They're like, Dr. Joe, I've been to other doctor's offices. I've never seen this variety of problems in any clinic ever. How do you do all that? Well, you got to learn how the body works and then how to fuel it with good, good fuel and good food. So drjoe.com, normally the first visit is $940 if you came in off the street. For you, my listeners, we've reduced that to $299. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays on your follow-up visit, and a complete nutrition evaluation. And then after that, if we feel you're a good candidate for care, we'll talk about that too. We accept people with all insurances. Depends what your insurance covers. We accept you. It's your insurance company that's going to be the deciding factor there. Uh, we have cash patients. Many of our, probably 40% of our patients are cash patients because it's so affordable. And uh, the supplement protocols, of course, are all available on the website to drjoe.com. But stop suffering needlessly. Biggest complaint I get is, why didn't I do this sooner? And I don't know why people are suffering when they have the answer. And it hurts me when patients come in and say, Dr. Joe, I've been listening to you for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. And you, you get smarter and smarter as the years go on. You're incredible. I've been meaning to come see you. Why didn't you? I don't know. Folks, can't make it. Can't make you do it. But yeah, most people are very happy when they do. So drjoe.com, we'd love to be your doctor. All the supplements we talk about, Super Green, Central Source, Nitric Oxide, um, the estrogen regulator, we talked about that. Uh, uh, estrogen regulator is for men, by the way, and women who are in, in uh, childbearing years. If you're perimenopausal, don't take estrogen regulator. Um, the omega-3 fatty acids, all of them and more, vitamin D, are on the website, drjoe.com. We ship the next business day. Uh, or if you come by and pick them up, we're going to save you some shipping because cost is going up in January 2024. So drjoe.com or we have offices Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Make an appointment either virtually or in person, and let's go ahead and put together a protocol for you this year because I want to get you well. I want to be your doctor. Follow us on social media, at Dr. Joe Esposito. If you like tips like this, every day you get at least one one one-minute tip, sometimes two and three. Absolutely free. Uh, at Dr. Joe Esposito, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, follow us. One minute post. That's what I'm going to give you. Uh, if you're a veteran, if the VA refers you to us, the VA will pay for it. So uh, if, if you have pain issues and you're not getting the results that you want or you can't wait to see a specialist for the VA, many times the VA is willing to refer to you. I can't make them, but that's up to them. If you're a podcast junkie, drjoe.com um, is the website, but the podcast on your podcast service, Dr. Joe for the health of it, Dr. Joe for the health of it. Uh, we started a new program this year. It's on erectile dysfunction treatment, natural treatments of erectile dysfunction, acoustic wave therapy, home therapies, nitric oxide, checking the nerve supply, uh, prostate protocols put together. Uh, it's very debilitating for a man to lose function. And many times it's self-induced and you didn't realize you did things that did it. Clogged arteries many, many times the cause of the problem. So we have protocols put together, way less expensive than the other protocol without the injections and the drugs. So I don't know why you wouldn't do that, men. And very discreet. You know, it's a very quiet. We're not going to, you know, again, everything we do is discreet. We can never tell anyone that we're seeing a patient. So, so yeah, it's a great investment for men. I have guys come up to me and I've had guys send me flowers and send me fruit baskets and say, man, dude, thank you, thank you, thank you, because the little blue pill didn't work anymore and nothing was working. And I said, well, a little blue pill only covers up the symptoms, doesn't treat the cause. So drjoe.com. Any questions, just send them to me through the website. I'm happy to answer your questions uh, and help you try to get well and stay well. All right, so we're talking today about foods that help you feel full. Uh, raw salads are great. Um, but, but they can leave you f wanting. So when you make a salad, add some chickpeas to it, some green beans, nuts, seeds, organic raisins if you want to, and make it a meal. And when you do something like that, you're going to feel full. So what happens when we start changing our diet like this? You start to feel better after a few days. The hunger thing takes a little longer to go away. So you just have to keep working on it. And some great advice I got from somebody once is that 
it's okay to be hungry. What great advice. It's okay to be hungry. You don't have to rush out and wolf food down your throat just because you have a little hunger pang. Start enjoying those hunger pangs. What I do is I always fast for 12 hours a day. If I eat at 6 o'clock at night, I don't eat again until 6 o'clock in the morning. And many times I'll go longer than that. And I start to feel hungry at night. And instead of jumping up and eating food, I think this is a really cool feeling. I don't get to feel that this often. I'm usually satisfied. We all are. So it's kind of a cool thing that you can do is say, I'm really enjoying this. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow morning when I can break my fast, break fast. That's what's called breakfast and get some food. Start getting some super greens and essential source. Uh, maybe get some ground up chia seeds. Get the supplements in your body. Get some fresh fruit in your body. And you really start to appreciate your food a whole lot more. And you'll save a ton of money. So, folks, I'm out of time. Any questions, drjoe.com. Again, I really want to be your doctor. I want you to stop suffering needlessly. If you're a DOT driver, a Department of Transportation, we do DOT exams as well. So come see us, drjoe.com. We do PRP work. Uh, we do re uh, regenerative health care on the joints. Uh, we many times fix things without drugs and surgery for knees, hips, shoulders, ankles, all on the website, drjoe.com. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Tell your friends about the show, at Dr. Joe Esposito on Instagram and Facebook. Talk to you next time. All right. So much more to cover. What do you got? Lots of questions. Maybe this is a good time to do the podcast. Maybe we should switch it to the 9 o'clock on Tuesdays. Gosh. All right. Let's see. Um, you just jumped me way up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hate when that happens. you got to go all the way up and go back down again. Yeah. For menopausal women, would you advise daily eating of broccoli? Yes, absolutely. Uh, for menopausal women, uh, women's hormone support. Uh, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Uh, adrenal support is really important. Omega-3 fatty acids are important. Uh, and then the, the cruciferous vegetables, yes. Go to my website, drjoe.com. Type in women's health issues. I cover it all there. All right. And uh, are Brussels sprouts superior to cabbage? Yeah, about the same. Uh, do we need to supplement with vitamin C? And if so, how much of what kind? Uh, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, great source of vitamin C. When I created this stuff, folks, I thought about all these questions. I, I thought about all the questions people ask for years. Um, don't really need to sub, sub, uh, uh, supplement with vitamin C. If you're eating a lot of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, you're going to get lots of vitamin C. So Essential Source is my source of vitamin C. And do you need to buy your Brussels and cabbage organic? Yes. Uh, now, what are some of the benefits of a neck adjustment? Oh, gosh. Yeah, about Tinnitus three hours. for one. Tinnitus, yeah. Neck pain, back pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, uh, ringing in the ears, uh, radiating pain down your arm, preventing arthritis because arthritis comes when bones are out of place rubbing up against each other. Mid, side, mid, mid part of the neck is the nerve part of the thyroid. Upper part of the neck is, like I said, the brain, eyes, ears, and sinuses, vision, uh, hearing, uh, cerebellum. Cerebellum creates balance and, and, and integrates information from the body so you're more aware of your environment. Posture, uh, we talked about preventing arthritis. Lower part of the neck is the heart and lungs. So it can affect breathing and blood pressure issues. Uh, 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 gosh, is that enough? <laughs> and pain. An odd one from me that I never really expected was, um, and I always noticed this in choir uh -huh. um, in, in high school, was that I had tubes multiple times in my ears. Uh -huh. um, I think three or four times. Ton, probably tons of scar tissue. But yeah. I, still have, uh, I still had issues with wax. Ah. And then I would lose or kind of like insulate the hearing on one side. And now I'm singing and I have a terrible ear uh, for listening when right. that happens. Uh -huh. um, and I, starting maybe like three or four years ago, it's not really ever been an issue again. You kind of forgot it was there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's another benefit. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> I was um, like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I, 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 doubt, I don't know how, many, how, much, how much longer we have to give you all the benefits of a neck adjustment. I can't imagine not getting chiropractic care. God, it's, it's the reason I'm alive. I got hit by a car when I was 10 years old, and I was dead. They laid me on the side of the road, covered me up, uh, and I was dead. And I, when they put me in the ambulance, I moved. And I've had permanent damage from that ever since. And chiropractic care has kept me going. So, yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine not getting adjusted. So, what else? For tinnitus earlier, you said B12, is that correct? Yeah, well, a B complex. Uh, the yeah. B, Dr. Joe's B complex has B12 with other B vitamins as well, and then vitamin D3, of course, with K2. Um, this person's been taking a B complex their whole life. Uh, you mentioned, though, that it should be a methylfolate. Uh, what, methylate. Is that, yeah, what does that mean and why? Uh, 
methylation is what uh, I'll give you an example. If I take crude oil out of the ground, I can't put it in my car. I have to process it and make it into gasoline. Well, everything you eat, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, steak, white bread, cookies, cakes, donuts, has to be converted, methylated into a form that the body can utilize. Well, B12, methyl, uh, methylcobalamin, is the form that we use. Cyanocobalamin has to be converted in the body, and many times it can't be, and you get a, a molecule of cyanide with it. So taking the methylcobalamin, it's already in the form that we can use, and that's why I recommend a methylcobalamin. So if you're taking a B-complex and it, it's cyanocobalamin, it's one of the cheap versions, and you're not going to get the best bang for your buck. You might save money, but it ain't working. So it ain't working as well as it should. Realizing that all protocols are, of course, individualized, is there a max number of times to get a neck adjustment? I've been getting adjusted since I was 18 years old. I don't know how many adjustments I've had. No, I don't get adjusted every day, certainly. I probably get adjusted maybe once every two weeks to a month. I get checked. I should say I get adjusted. I get checked to make sure I'm in place because my doctors are all trained to be objective. We don't base our treatment on your symptoms. We base it on what we find on the x-rays, the exam, our, our testing that we do uh, because uh, if you have pain down your right leg, it could be the left hip. That's the problem. So if we just treat the pain, we're only not treating the cause, we're treating the symptoms. We, we be very objective in our analysis. But in a lifetime, no, I get adjusted as many times as I need to. Yeah. It's like Sierra handed me her laptop over the break and said, you know, my screen's broken. I said, your screen's not broken. She said, well, look at it. It's not working properly. Well, I didn't trust her. <laughs> any, any technological problem that anybody hands you, uh -huh. uh, you don't trust them. Yes. You you have to figure out, okay, what what is this? This is what's happening. Right. But what's actually wrong? I just had to reseat the video cable. Yeah. And, and it, it was the cause, not the, the, the screen. Exactly. The symptom, right? Exactly. exactly. And that's a pain. Is like Garrett was saying, pain is a symptom. It's not fi that's not the cause. What's causing the pain is the problem. So yeah. Um. Now, what about? Grapeseed oils. Nope. <laughs> easy one. That's easy. Uh, and then uh, this might be my last question here. Um, what about ankylosing spondylitis? Ankylosing spondylitis, uh, it's a rare condition. happens in men more than women, usually younger men, but it happens in both sexes. And the body, it's an autoimmune disease. The body starts attacking itself, and it usually starts in the sacroiliac joint, and the bones start to fuse together. And it starts, in, and again, this is a simple, simplified version. It works its way all the way up. And with ankylosing spondylitis, the only treatment is chiropractic care, mobilizing the joints. Now, we get you on an anti-inflammatory diet. We calm down your immune system because it is an autoimmune disease. And we stabilize the nutritional aspects. <clears throat> with medicine, many times we'll give you steroids to shut down the immune system, but then there's negative side effects to that too. I'm not against drugs. Please understand that. I'm trying to get around the drugs if we can. If we can't, we can't. But chiropractic care, keep those joints mobile. I've had people with ankylosing spondylitis for years come to me, and it never progresses. If it progresses into the rib area, if the ribs fuse together, it's a very slow, uncomfortable demise because you can't breathe. And when I say slow, years. So, yeah, ankylosing spondylitis got to mobilize the joints, and you got to go on an anti-inflammatory protocol. Yeah. So, that's it. I said that was it, but uh, how much no-salt sunflower seeds are okay to eat in a day? Sunflower seeds are okay. It's the oil that's the problem because when it's extracted out, it's heated – Changes the molecular structure to use solvents to pull the oil out. That's where the problem is. The organic sunflower seeds are perfectly fine. Eat as many as you can. You might get fat, though. Be careful. <laughs> shelled or no shelled? Uh, well, if they're unshelled, they start to oxidize quicker. Um, so shelled would be the best, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Your product design provides omega-3s through algae, uh -huh. correct? Yes, but not enough. I want to make sure my brain is getting the optimum level. That's why I add an additional... Uh, omega-3 supplement to it yeah uh, uh, oh yeah okay if you're talking about the supplement itself yes because we put algae in the um in the super greens and essential source which is some omega-3s but the omega-3 supplement is is yeah it's an algae oil yeah. i mis mis misunderstood that that is all all right guys you're awesome make sure you follow me on all platforms at dr joe esposito sign up for our newsletter it's on the website drjoe.com then you're an insider that's really cool and we'll see you next week happy new year's everybody yes happy everybody. new year